the bottom line is, is that the difference between medicine and poison is dose. And then of course, in the case of meth, meth is a series of chemical reactions in order to make it. Not only is it a series of, of pretty significant chemical reactions in order to produce it, but it sometimes cut. So, and I just want to throw this out. This is actually a great lead into the biggest issue facing, I believe, right, the whole drug using population in the United States outside of alcohol. The thing about meth is it's also one of the drugs that's subject to being cut with this synthetic fentanyl. So the idea that you can't, if it was pure methamphetamine, right, which is kind of a misnomer, I use that in quotes, pure, right, um, <laughs> with, without an adulterant, uh, you know, cutting agent, um, it's, it's possible that it has a, a, um, an overdose safety profile that's within acceptable levels for a lot of people. Um, certainly, uh, it's more common for heroin to be cut with fentanyl and you not know it than meth cut with fentanyl, then you don't know it, or cocaine uh, and cut with fentanyl and you don't know it. But it happens and it happens more often than, than, than the general public realizes. So the safety profile of any drug that you're getting from the street, opioids or heroin, even opioid tablets now, you've heard about this? Yeah. They're being stamped with fentanyl, made with fentanyl. Um, uh, meth, cocaine, all of these drugs now potentially are, uh, um, uh, you know, cut with, with a very potent opioid. Um, and, and so the safety profile of meth, if you will, safety profile, which is kind of a misnomer to use in a, in a drug like that, that's all chemicals. Um, it, uh, it, the safety profile definitely goes down with the potential of being cut with fentanyl. It does, so. however, cause heart attack, stroke. Um, what else? It can cause um, seizures. Yeah, okay. Irregular heartbeats, yeah. et, et, et cetera. I mean, it's a stimulant. Yeah, so overuse of it can definitely cause, you could have death from a heart attack or stroke. Yeah, you know, extreme weight loss, eating disorders, things like that. Um, you know, on top of the fact that um, with meth, um, you know, one of the things that, that people do is they, they inject it and then they don't really get high until they, until they throw up. And that can have all kinds of secondary effects as well, like, uh, you know, uh, esophageal, um, you know, disintegration, uh, bad oh, yeah. teeth, things like that. Another th problem with meth is that it, it tends to, um, it tends to, the chemicals in it tend to replace calcium. So brittle bones, yeah. brittle teeth, um, you know, uh, bad, really bad, you know, uh, skin. Um, it can, it can be really, uh, brutal on the body that way. So it's, it's not, it's not a safe drug by any, by any stretch of the imagination. It's a, it's a, it's a chemical concoction that, uh, um, you know, was dreamt up in, in, in a lab.